Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-animation.com. Today in this lecture, I'm going to talk about how you can run your web driver IO test in Firefox browser. Okay, so in the last lectures, whatever we have discussed so far, we have executed everything on Chrome. Okay, so if I go back and show you whatever test we executed, it was running on a Chrome browser. So if I show you this configuration file, so basically we are using Chrome driver, right? Um, browser is Chrome. And if you scroll down further, we are using one of the service called Chrome driver service, right? In the last video, we also saw that we were facing some issues. So we downloaded Chrome driver exe and we added some additional flags, right? But what if I want to run my test on Firefox? Okay. So let's say if I just want to run on Firefox and if I want to change it here and run let's see how it works so let's say i want to run on firefox and if i want to run my configuration file which is this web driver io.config.js so again i will say uh, npx web driver io run and run this configuration file and let's see how it works So basically it's going to fail and uh, you can see it says execution of two workers started and it failed it says running on firefox and it failed again it is running in firefox again it failed the reason is by default when we say that we are going to use chrome driver service it is only allowing us for chrome so even though if you write firefox here or edge browser it's not going to work so now I'm going to show you one of the service which will help you to maintain all the drivers and all the browsers. So again, go back to web driver IO, click on get started and you can see the services option, right? Click on services and search for one of the service called Selenium standalone service. See, it's, uh, this is another way. First option is always you can download the Gecko driver, you know, Microsoft Edge driver, then give the path. That is one option. This is a uh, easiest option where you can use the service called Selenium standalone service and it's going to allow you to run your test in different browsers. So let's quickly read this. This service help you to run Selenium seamlessly uh, using web driver IO test runner. It uses the well known Selenium standalone NPM package and if you open this package. So basically you can see uh, this package maintain all these drivers for you. Chrome driver, Gecko driver, IE driver, Edge driver, and Chrome image driver. So when you use this internally, it uses this NPM package. Now this is the main part that automatically set up the standalone server and all the required drivers for you is the main part. Again, this small note here that if you are using this service, then you don't need to use this service, which is quite obvious because Anyways, when you use the service, it will come up with, um, you know, all these drivers, which includes Chrome driver as well. So when you use the service, don't use this web driver IO Chrome service. Now, how we can use this? So easiest way is you already have package.json file, right? So in our case, if I show you, we already have this package.json file. And you can see we are already using Chrome driver service. So as per the note, you don't need to use this. So we are going to use this dev dependency. It is web driver IOS standalone service this or you can also trigger or execute this command which is npm install web driver IOS lame service standalone service save dependency and it's going to add automatically inside your package or JSON file. So let's copy this one. And uh, again, we are on the, uh, you know, web driver IO tutorial, which is the parent directory i will simply execute this command npm install web driver io save dependency so let's wait let it install and we will not be using this so i will remove this so it's it is going to take some time and it's going to add here so let's wait in the meanwhile let's see uh you can also provide configurations okay if you want to give a specific driver version, you can do that. And if you want to add any custom configuration, you can do that. 
okay and along with that they also have a couple of options like log path argument another argument if you want to use it if you don't want to use it it's totally up to you so you can see now added two packages and here we go we got this particular service and now as per the documentation we don't need this you can either remove or don't use it so now if you go back and run this since we have already added this uh, dev dependencies which is selenium service standalone now the next option is inside webdriver io we have to mention it so again if i search chrome driver service we were using this service right earlier now i don't need this so what exactly i will mention that i'm going to use one service called selenium uh, standalone service okay so let's say the usage here just come down here just a second use this service selenium hyphen standalone that's all you don't need chrome driver service just stick to selenium standalone and that's all now save this file and let's run this so i'm going to run the previous command basically we are going to run this webdriver io.config.js file which is going to run this config.js and uh, what test it will trigger it is going to trigger all the files except this file this we have seen earlier so hit enter and since we have mentioned firefox this should only start firefox as you can see execution of two workers started the reason because two spec files are getting executed and that's the default nature of webdriver io that it's going to run them in parallel okay it says fail to connect to selenium okay attempt something went wrong we'll figure it out no issue okay running in firefox okay let's wait okay right now you can see we don't have any firefox running let's wait because starting of firefox sometimes it takes time so as you can see it started basically you can see this one right two started so let me drag and drop to the main screen so two firefox launched and yeah they are running independently they are running in parallel so depends on what kind of test you had it will simply go and execute second test was all about login and yes it executed so this was kind of some temporary issue or i would say temporary message that initially it tried connecting it failed it gave a retry and it worked you can see just we modified a small thing in webdriver io.config file and it started our test in firefox initially it was chrome i changed to firefox JSON file and we used one service called Selenium Server Standalone Service. So we executed one command and pim install, it got added. Then we just executed and it worked fine. Fine, so that's very easy. Now, in the next lecture, I will show you how you can run on Microsoft Edge. And uh, then once we are done with all the browsers, we will see how we can run the test in parallel mode in all the browsers. So please let me know in the comment section if you face any issue. And uh, if you think that you got something new out of this video, then make sure you share this video with others, your teammates. Subscribe this channel and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.